Olga County, downtown Cleveland didn't get much at all, but parts of the county certainly did. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us from I-480 and I-77 in Garfield Heights. How are the roads looking there, John? Actually, Lee, probably the best they've looked in the past 48 hours or so, despite the fact we've got some snow flurry falling right now. The traffic heading east and westbound on 480 is pretty much driving on uh, dry pavement and moving along at a pretty good clip at this hour. Just a normal slow going that you would see on 480 between 77 and 271. We had some crews out in Chesterland earlier today, and they were getting some pictures for us as folks were digging out of one to two feet of snow that has fallen there. A shift in the lake bands gave them an opportunity to get the upper hand. Welcoming the snow, though, are the area ski resorts. Out at Alpine Valley, the snow guns are going full blast as they move towards opening the slopes next week. Many we caught up with are approach the snow with a smile. I am used to the weather. I think anybody that's grown up in the Cleveland area is probably used to it. You know, it comes earlier some years, later other years, but you know, it's good to have the change of seasons, too. If you look behind me right here, you can see we're darn near uh, 20 inches of snow. Uh, behind us, which we've got on the slopes already. So this will give us a good base where we can start building on this year and just hopefully have a great ski season when we open next week. Uh, Chesterland and Alpine Valley getting a, a good dose, but also down in Summit County, Boston Mills and Brandywine, same thing. they got about a foot of snow uh, on the ground down there, but more importantly are these cold temperatures that are allowing them to make snow. And down at Boston Mills, they're hoping to open uh, Thursday or Friday at the very latest. Reporting live in Garfield Heights, John Kasich, News Channel 5.